Daytona Grand Prix. Ah, the Honda Civic and the Carmen Ghia. Civic. Early, early gear. My God. Very early gear. Wow. No, the tail lights. Yeah, can you see? TR8 convertible. That's a TR7 with one more problem. No. Will be nice. Eldo. Dips. Come on, girl. You might have to get a push crew here. There she is. There she is. Marley. Yeah, they did something totally different. And now I applaud GM for. Oh, that's one of the first. Uh, what's one called? Uh, fast packs. Porsche 914. Oh, oh, nice Chrysler Newport with the wood grain. Oh, too cool. Oh, I love the scam. They have a strong following now. Really weird. The Omni Horizon. El Camino version of the Omni Horizon. That is wild. Check this out. Making a wide turn. That's for sure. That's in Indiana. No, I guess we're passing by. Beautiful Ford. Old old cutlass. A magnificent gear B. MG get it. Uh, Porsche. Wow. Locomobile. Jeez. Two locomobiles. Again. Where do you see that, folks? Studebaker to go on. That's a precedent. And the Anglia. We've seen that guy a number of times. Really cool. How many other Anglias do you see? Little Hudson convertible. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Little prelude. I call them preludes, but prelude. Again, uh, Honda was uh, stepping up its game. Nice Dodge convertible. Cool. Get the parts out of the way. Nice Italian. Just an everyday car, folks. Just an everyday car. It is a very at the same time, in the middle of 1927, Henry Ford shut off the factory in the final detail. So Clement came out and he was wonderful to do the mile diesel to be used on a long game of Clement and he dominated up that morning there to Henry Ford up in the back. Gorgeous Cadillac. And he moved to the mile left. Cadillac grew pretty quickly. Yeah. 
Yeah, Packer ruled before the war. And speaking of Mets, here's the EMF, which is the precursor to the Studebaker. That's how Studebaker got back into the automotive uh, business, was uh, buying out EMF, cutlass convertible. Beautiful as sound. Ah. And we got a bread box. If I was hitchhiking, I know I have a ride. Yes, even Miata. Because remember, Miata came out in 1990. Here comes the grand, grand Jeez. That's gorgeous. Little Mustang, Hudson. So the Mustang, interesting history on the Mustang, the basis for the Mustang. Yeah, but the thing is, it was nothing but a falcon. So he's covering the market side by side instead of one on top of the other. And uh, obviously, it's a good success. So we're going to pull the train. You know, this is a nice Franklin. It would be interesting if Ford pulled that with a T-Bird, if they kept the two-seater as a sports car and came out with a four-seater. Nice Franklin. It's been very interesting. Basically, they did that with the Mustang because they had the Falcon as the sedan, two-door, four-door wagon, and they had the Mustang as the sports car.